Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have um, a lock lent to me by my good friend Yukov. And I have to say that this is, it's so ugly, it's so brutish and so coarsely made that I actually think it's kind of beautiful and fun in my own right. I mean, I actually quite like this. It's, to me, and I don't know its origin, to me it's quite, it's quite clearly a, a Soviet era padlock. Um, not probably made to great manufacturing to tolerances. And um, I'm going to say that's dial 1, 2 and 3 because it doesn't seem to be a very good way of describing it. The shackle is um, exposed at two places and I'm not entirely sure why and I'll, I'll maybe discuss why I, I don't understand why in a minute. But we're going to try and unlock it using a shackle pull method to try to feel where the dials are tight and where they are dial them into a, a gate or a, a true gate or a false gate and and, and try to and figure out the code. So um, nothing on one, two's fine, three, oh, I'll just loosen that up almost instantly. Um, so let's go to one, nothing on one, two's now tight, let's turn that. Nice little click on about two, and I don't know if you saw the shackle move. Who else, oh, wow, one's really tight and, we, oh, I just need to touch it. I think that's fortuitous, um, actually. But the, let's lock that back up and just um, let's just turn one of these a little bit so it doesn't lock up and feel where the gates are. So the gate's wide. It goes from two to four. So I think all the gates are within two numbers. So you don't have to be particularly accurate on this. Um, now, what's interesting about this is the shackle. So we've decoded it. The gates are wide. We know that. But why is the shackle exposed? Now, I would expect that, because I've seen some some locks before, you could put a chain in on one bit. So you could, in theory, um, move this out, unlock it, but this would remain still shut. But that isn't the case here. Look, you could insert a chain, but you still couldn't open the lock at this position any further the chain would come out and you'd still be able to open the lock. So I don't really know what the advantage of having that would be unless you were locking something up with that. No, that still doesn't make any sense because it almost releases at the same time from both here and here. Um, so I guess the only thing it could be is uh, just something where you need to lock against say two hasps and you need two positions. It's a very strange little padlock, I have to say, but I really, really like it. So yeah, it's a shame that the, you know, the manufacturing tolerances aren't that great. The gates are within two numbers of each other, but hey, that's still okay. I still love the lock, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video too. I'll see you all next time.